G'day YouTube, welcome back to my channel and this is the last pine I have, my last Japanese black pine that I have to do in autumn in terms of bud selection and needle plucking. Um, so this would be one of the larger ones I've got of course uh, and I need to do a, I had a look at the tree carefully and it's got a lot of buds this one, uh, a lot of multiple buds where I cut the candles off last in, in summer in December here in Melbourne last year. So, just repeating for everyone else, um, you cut the candles on refined trees when you're refining them and building up the density of all the all the um, buds on this. Um, so, you cut candles, all candles off in December, I do, uh, which is summer here. <laughs> and then by autumn, which is now, which is probably the start of May now, um, I look at cutting, um, so at those cut spots, there would be multiple buds, and more than, usually it's more than two. Um, Anything more than two, you want to cut back to two. So, in most of these, most of these area, I can see quite a few threes and fours. So, I've got to reduce those back to two. Now, the the, the logic behind that is those two will will elongate in spring. We cut them cut them off in December, and then we've got those two. We cut those back. The new the new foliage cut those back in December, and then from those points, you'll have multiple multiple again. And then in autumn next year, we'll cut those back to two. So, and then I'll go two, two. So you can see how we're going to build up the structure if we follow. It's I think black pines you work on them twice a year, pretty much. That's what I think, and that's what I've been doing. Uh, or do it in December, and then do it in uh, May for me. Um, so summer, summer cut all the candles off, and in May you do your butt selection needle plucking. And I do a lot of my wiring work now um, because the, you clean up the tree, and you get it all nice and clean pluck all the old the old two three year old needles off the tree as well so clean it right up and then you can actually see the structure better you know the two you know where the two buds are so you can wire accordingly so this tree is really fully wired but um, it's time to, for the wire to come off um, in most areas it's, I can see some of it's cutting in and we want to rewire certain areas so this tree is probably going to take me quite a few hours of work um, I we could never do it in one day, uh, so it would probably be multiple days. So you might, you might see my change, my clothes change here and there in this video because um, you know, I only got so much time on the weekend to get to get this done, and I might have some time because I'm working from home at the moment. Um, you know, when I finish finish up at five ish or so, I still got an hour or so in the day before it gets too dark. So usually we can get some work done as well in the tree. So it's a bit of a long process, but I want to get started and really clean this up this year. All the old, all the old needles need to come off. Like there's two, three old, three old needles still on this tree, um, and they're quite looking very ragged now. They're getting a bit, you know, yellowy and droopy and starting. To, they'll fall off naturally anyway, but I'd like to take them off just to make sure it's all nice and clean. Um, but yeah, let's get started. So first thing I always do is start at the top of the tree, and we'll work my way down in terms of bud selection. So I'm going to go and pick out two in each area so that's pretty much all I'm going to do now and, I, and you, if you've been following my channel you would know um, that process quite well um, just to go back through my videos there's some really good ones around butt selection um, and I'll show you close-ups of what you do with butt selection and how you cut back to two so I'm just going to start from the top work my way down um, um, and finish off and then I'll come back and show you the result after I've uh, done all the butt selection what I'll also do is check all the wiring as well. So if it's if it's really cutting in, I'll start to take all that wire, cut all that wire off. Um, so only if it's cutting in, yeah. Uh, so I'll cut it off, and also I'll pluck off all the old uh, needles. So I don't know if you can see some really big ugly ones here that are starting to look very yucky and ugly. They can just be plucked right off. So that's that's just plucking them off like that. Um, so yeah, that's really all I'm going to do. Uh, it's really hard to probably need to, I don't, you don't really need to see the process, oh, I could do a time lapse but I think you guys know, I think hopefully you guys can have seen that before. Um, yeah, I'll, I'll look at, if I find something interesting I'll call it out and stop the, and I'll take a video of that, that part. So, all right, back. I'll be back once it's all but selected and cleaned up and then we'll do look at restyling the tree. Okay, so I have done all the cleaning up of the tree. So done all the bud selecting, needle plucking. So you can see much more kind of, everything kind of looks the same size now, all the, in terms of the needles and candles 
um, and the buds they're all the same kind of so it's starting to get to a point where they are starting to form the same size when the new ones come so let's just that's all i'm going to keep doing over the, over the years is just promoting that same more and more and more and more and more of that kind of growth so it looks quite good now one thing i did do is i started to remove some of the gins on this tree um, i decided that i don't want gins on this um, black pine so there was a really big gin out here that was previously the, the, the main line of the trunk so i've taken that out i will make sure i put that in a good position to fill that area there and i started to remove some of the gins in here you probably didn't even notice they were there but i did i noticed there's one more here which i'll remove but um yeah i don't want gins on this black pine I, i've decided because it's such a good tree and so full of um, foliage it doesn't need um a gins so that's that's one decision i made um one thing, one area that's bothering me is up in the apex around here, around this area here especially. Um, unfortunately, I've got some really long bits of bare branch with a bit of foliage at the end, and another one here, the same problem. Uh, it is causing me a bit of, you know, like what am I gonna do in that area? So it's more of a, do we pull down, do we pull down branches more to, to fill that? Do we keep them and then just hope for, for you know, back budding or maybe grafting or something like that. Um, the other thing I was thinking is can I, can I bring this in a loop further? Can I somehow bring the whole top down? Um, that's going to be very hard, but could be a possibility. You know, could be a possibility to shrink this down a bit. If I shrink that down, it can eliminate those. So a couple of things we're looking at. Maybe, maybe I'll try and bring that down, the apex down. Um, but I've got to figure out where I'm going to anchor that down to. And it's going to be somewhere in the front around here maybe to this so you're gonna have to think of some ideas to bring that down there are other, other different ideas but that's one of the ideas i'm thinking about um the big change that i need to make everything else is pretty good everything else is kind of set in place took up quite a bit of wire but mainly the top all the wire's been removed down the bottom hasn't been all removed um because it hasn't grown as fast as the top top always grows faster so it's really starting to cut in at the top so but yeah i'm going to start getting through it, I might try and, I might wire that whole branch, I wire this branch and the back branch, like I wire it around here, all these branches around here, and when I get to the apex, I'm gonna see what I can um, what I can do in terms of changing it up. Because once I do all the wiring it down here, then I can look at putting guy wires or something to get it down. But that's one idea I'm thinking, is bringing this down. But it doesn't move with my hand at the moment, but we might have to do a crowbar it down or something like that um, to help me. Uh, so it's an interesting technique, but I might need two people to do that. Unfortunately, it's just been my, by myself, so it's a bit, a little bit tricky to do that work. Um, but okay, so that's the update now, and I'll put. Obviously, you've seen me do this before. I just like to cover the base of the soil, otherwise all the needles getting there and the cut off wires getting there. So nice way to keep things clean. All right, so I'm just going to start wiring, and I'll show you the result. Okay, Ron, so I um, spent quite a while trying to wire this whole entire branch up. And you can see much more, hopefully you can see much more detail um, in that wiring. Uh, there hasn't been too much I have to remove. Most, most things are reduced down to two in every area. There's not many threes, so that's really good. That's a good positive. Um, and you can now start seeing a lot of the buds about the same, has the same amount of length of candles. Um, so we're on the right track for the years to come. So that one's all now nicely done. Now you can see there's quite a big gap here. I want to try and bring this down quite a bit or get this further down. There is a guy wire here, which is good news. So I should be able to bring that down a bit more. Um, fully wired this branch. I'm gonna actually start on this branch here to counterbalance that. Um, Cause that's kind of the next branch down. So we're gonna look at doing this one first. Um, and worrying all this area and then I'll try and bring that down. So I'll see how this goes. This, I don't think this needs too much structural movement down. I think it's a good position there. This just needs to be um, balanced, you know, balanced out and padded out now. So I think that's what we're gonna do now. Um, yeah, so we're gonna give that a go. This is gonna take, this is quite a big branch actually. Quite a substantial branch and there's a bit bad at the back. So. The trees are made up of too many branches coming from the trunk, which is good, but it's got a lot of sub branching, which is even better. So 
we're going to get stuck on this area and then I'll come back and show you the difference um, and we'll start building the tree out. Okay. Okay, the next update. So this has all been wired. I think I'm, I don't know if we're up to that, but this has all now been wired up. Um, <coughs> I've positioned most things where they should be. <coughs> Probably just tweak it here and there. I've um, wired up the back branch out back here as well. Um, and I'm starting to wire this branch. I have draw, dropped that down a little bit. I'm hoping you can see that. Pull that down using a guy wire further down. And I'll wire that out and um, just started that process. So I'll do that one. Um, and then I think I've got one more at the back. And I've done this one as well. I've wired this one as well. So this back branch is done. So pretty much I'm left with this part of the tree after I've done this area. So getting close, um, I do just want to see if I can figure out how do I pull that down a bit closer down um, into this to this area. So hopefully that would um, resolve that issue. Um, so I'm going to try and do that as well. Okay. So but let me finish wiring all that out. And once I get to this bit, try and pull it down. Okay. Okay. So. You probably see the trees coming along really well. Um, I think it's filling up really nicely. I've done all the wiring all around here, all around here. I just haven't done the apex. And now you can see it's kind of, it's kind of long. It's got this like feels like a long neck on it, um, and that's what I want to try and work through. It's going to be very ch interesting to see how we're going to work with these branches and try to create an apex. Um, probably the apex is always the hardest part of the tree, I reckon. It's one of the hardest parts. So. Maybe I'll um, come in close and I'll show you the work that I do to, to get the apex in a, in a spot. Maybe I'll do another video on that. But in the meantime, I'm going to try and move this apex around. I've got some of these. This is an interesting branch. I don't know how to deal with this. Maybe I'm going to wire this down a bit more. And maybe turn this up and create it. And that could be like the new apex top. A lot of these have to come down. Come down. To fill in this gap. There's a bit of a gap in here. This branch can be brought around. So there's like four branches. Four, yeah, four branches up in here that I need to move and, and, and move around so when you come back I'll be pretty much done I hope um, but as I said I might do a close up of how to create apex, uh, the apex in a separate video okay so we'll be back shortly okay everyone so marathon effort but I've finally finished the styling restyling of this tree um, it's a decent sized tree, I kind of stand next to it, there you go. Um, the apex was pretty difficult to, to get right, and I've separated out a video just on the apex, so you guys can have a look at that in the near future. Um, but I hope you can see how much improvement there is in this tree. I mean, I think um, it takes, you know, time, more time you invest in a tree, the better it gets. So I think this is just now got to develop, got to push more and more and more buds, just endless pushing buds, pushing buds, multiplying out, you know, two by two by two. Hopefully we can replace some of these other branches, hopefully there's some back buddy. Um, some of the branches aren't the best in this area here, they're very long, and just got a bit of foliage at the top, but I can't remove them just now. But at the moment, it's looking really nice, smaller buds, smaller candles, hopefully multiple, you know, just hopefully this tree keeps multiplying, getting stronger and stronger. Um, yeah, I, I really, I really like this tree. This is really, really nice. Starting to come up beautiful. Um, I didn't need to pull the whole apex down. I think I, I found that was okay just by maneuvering and, and positioning a lot of these branches into place. Uh, let's have a look. I don't think this wire will cut in um, anytime soon. Probably another year before I need to worry about having a look at it again if it's cutting in. And it pretty much just cuts in at the top. There's not much cutting in at the bottom. Um, <coughs> so I just want to keep an eye on that. So really the only thing I'm going to do with this tree now, put it back in its spot. Um, this is, it's winter now, coming up to winter soon. Pretty much leave it alone. Uh, and not much else. Leave it alone until start feeding it probably in spring. Give it a good feed cycle. Then stop before summer. And then when we decandle, um, in the summer we take all the candles off. So, you know, it's really now, don't touch it. Just water, feed in spring. Uh, and then decandle in December for us here in, in Melbourne and follow the same process December decandle take all the candles off then come back in May and do your bud selection so it's different for northern hemisphere with southern hemisphere that's what we do 
there's a time so anyway guys enough me talking I hope you enjoyed that one it's really fun to see the tree improving slowly and slowly over time okay guys enjoy thanks for watching